Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to do a short little video on identification of chickweed. And in this video, we're going to go through three different kinds of chickweed that you're probably going to be finding. Two of them are going to be found in your yard or around barns or mulching or landscaped areas, and one is going to be commonly found in the woods, in the eastern woodlands especially. So without further ado, let's get started. Now these very small and low delicate plants that we're looking at are called chickweed. This is common chickweed. And the good thing about common chickweed is that it's not only very common, but it's also edible and extremely delicious. This is a plant that you can very easily teach your children about, and it's very easy for them to identify, and it's also very quick to collect. Now here if we look really close on this chickweed, you're going to notice one thing first and foremost about the leaves. If we look at this plant from the top, one thing that we're going to notice is it has very simple leaves. These leaves are lance shaped and they also grow opposite, just like you can see here how they grow op on opposite sides of the stem. Now if you look very closely at these opposite growing leaves, we're also going to notice that they clasp the stem, meaning they don't really have a petiole or any leaf stem that attaches them to the main stem or the main stalk of the chickweed plant. You may also notice on the edges or the margins of these leaves how they're simple. There's no teeth. They're absolutely smooth. There is nothing on the sides of these leaves. They have no lobes. The underside of the leaves is just a normal underside of a leaf. It's very lightly green. There's no discerning features on the underside of this leaf. However, there is a lookalike, a toxic lookalike to chickweed that's called scarlet pimpernel. It doesn't grow where I live. However, it might where you live. The discerning feature is on the underside of the leaves. So anytime you're picking chickweed, make sure you take a look at the underside of the leaves because scarlet pimpernel has red spots on the underside of its leaves, whereas chickweed does not, just like you can see here. Now at the top of this plant here, you can see these little buds. These are what's left of the flower buds because this plant is already flowered. So this plant is in the process of producing seeds or it's in the process of getting ready to flower. Just depends on which stage this particular plant is at. However, whenever it comes to chickweed's flower, now one thing you might notice about the flower is not only is it white, but it looks like it might have 10 petals. However, there's actually only five petals on this flower. They just have a divide that makes it look like there's 10. Now, another thing you might notice on this chickweed is how large these leaves are. This is growing in a much more shaded environment that also receives a little bit more moisture. However, it's right next to my trash can, so I don't eat it. But this just goes to show that sometimes chickweed can be very, very large in size. Now one really nice thing about chickweed is that it adapts itself very easily to all kinds of soils. So you can very easily grow this in a container if you wanted to. All you'd have to do is simply find some chickweed that is past its flowering stage like you see here with all of these buds. Then you would simply pull the tops of them up like this. All you'd simply have to do once you have these is like I said, simply just shake the plant inside of a bag or a container and then you can collect the seeds and plant them wherever you want to grow chickweed. All right, so now that we've taken a look at common chickweed, let's go take a look at the second type of chickweed, and that's called mouse ear chickweed. Okay, here we are a little further down in my yard, towards the middle of the lawn, actually, and here is a huge rosette, or a huge clump, of this mouse ear chickweed. Now, all intents and purposes, mouse ear chickweed is just as edible, and most of it looks the exact same. You might be able to notice a difference here in the way that it grows. This looks kind of scraggly. One other major difference with mouse ear chickweed over common chickweed is the fact that mouse ear chickweed, like you can see here, has all these little hairs and little fuzz running along the side of it. One issue about these is that it doesn't make it as palatable whenever you go to eat it raw. And I also find that mouse ear chickweed is also a lot tougher and tastes in my opinion, a little more like hay smells. Everything on mouse ear chickweed is almost the exact same as common chickweed, minus the hairs. The flower is the exact same shape as you can see. It does look like it has 10 petals. However, it's just because of those splits within the petals. Its leaves, as you can see here, right behind the flower, grow opposite of each other. If I pull this little piece up, you can also see these hairs a lot more. You can also notice that the stem on mouse ear chickweed is red, whereas on common chickweed, it's just green. But here you may be able to see that the split in these petals isn't complete. It doesn't go all the way down, and there are only five petals. Now the third type of chickweed that we're going to be talking about today, I like to call great star chickweed. However, you can also call it star chickweed. 
This chickweed is very common anywhere within the eastern woodlands. One thing you may notice is that its growth structure is very similar to regular chickweed. It doesn't form the same dense clumps as you can see this small little rosette right in front of me. However, the flowers are very large. As you can see, these flowers are much larger than chickweed. They're about the size of my thumbnail. They do grow the same way and they are white. They do have five petals that looks like 10 because of those splits. And just like regular chickweed, the leaves are simple, they're lance shaped, the margins are smooth, and they also grow opposite of each other. Now a similarity between star chickweed and mouse ear chickweed is the red stem like you may be able to see right here. This is a very small, low growing plant. The stamens on the end of each pistils, as you notice, are red specks. So they're much larger than regular chickweed, so it's a lot easier to notice. You can find this anywhere in the woodlands within moist, low environments, and also on sloping hillsides where it receives a lot of drainage and runoff. You can see that this one is starting to produce some little buds right here. So this one is probably about ready to go to seed soon. And here's a little bit of a further back view so you can see just this one chickweed plant and what I mean by it doesn't grow in the same dense clusters that regular chickweed or mouse ear chickweed do. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned just a little bit of something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, please make sure to subscribe.